Hello and welcome to the first podcast of Basic Income News. My name is Olga Babkova. For those who have never heard about basic income, a basic income is an income unconditionally granted to all on an individual basis without means test or work requirement. Basic Income News reports on this idea. It is provided by the Basic Income Earth Network and its affiliates. Here are the main news of last week reported about. You find the respective links to the articles below. Switzerland. On October 4, 2013, Swiss activists delivered more than the necessary 100,000 signatures to call for the vote on basic income. The organizing committee for the initiative had been collecting signatures for months in preparation for this event. The proposal is for a substantial basic income of 2,500 francs, that is $2,656 per month, for every adult legal resident of Switzerland. Along with the signatures, supporters held a large demonstration outside the Federal Palace in Bern. At the demonstration, they dropped a dump truck load of 8 million five rapen coins, one for each person living in Switzerland. Following the successful petition initiative, Switzerland will hold national referendum to vote on basic income. The referendum has received significant attention in world news media. The iNews has a list of such articles. You can find the link in the description. If you know of more articles, please leave the publication information and link in the comment section. If it's in a language other than English, please indicate what language it is in. The United States. In a recent post in The Hill, Alan Sheehan reminds us that a basic income guarantee is not a new idea. Dr. Martin Luther King advocated for it writing in 1967. I am now convinced that the simplest solution to poverty is to abolish it directly by a new widely discussed measure, the guaranteed income. Sheehan argues it's time we revisited a basic income guarantee. The U.S. is a wealthy nation. A basic income guarantee would establish economic security as a universal right. The USA. The U.S. nonprofit organization Give Directly takes a different approach to charity by giving money directly to those in need. No strings attached. Emily Dochicho of MSNBC reports that many people's initial reaction to this type of giving is that people will just drink away the money they are given, but that kind of behavior is rare. Typically, those in need use the money on things they really need. The link to the video about this issue is given in the description. Germany At the beginning of this week, I spoke with Jörg Drescher about the issue what the election result in Germany means for basic income. To listen to the interview, you can find a link in the description below. In his post in Peria, Tom Straithorst outlines the history of creative destruction that has enhanced productivity as new technologies replaced workers in both the field and the factories. He argues that agricultural and factory workers could once count on moving into new good-paying jobs created by emerging technologies, but now rapid automation and the decline of the labor movement is leaving you lucky to find lower-paying jobs in the service industry. A basic income guarantee could raise our standard of living and give employees greater leverage with employers while also presenting an opportunity to rethink our collective relationship with work. The UK In his article in Basic Income UK, David Jenkins discusses the potential dangers of the shared ground surrounding possible defenses of a basic income. It argues that we should be careful to keep the more transformative potentials of basic income firmly in view. Ireland The Green Party of Ireland has released its budget plan and it includes the endorsement of a basic income. The Green Party leader Eamon Ryan said, We believe this budget should provide the first phase in the move towards a basic income system. 
This would do more than anything else to get people out of the social welfare traps that exist and to value the massive amount of voluntary and caring work that goes on in our society. Namibia Linda Raven, an American who works in Namibia, teaching visiting university students, uses this blog to discuss Carl Weiderquist's two talks in Namibia in September. Raven contrasts the two talks, one given at a symposium hosted by the Central Bank, the other given at a community center in a poorer area of Windhoek. The link is given in the description. If you have any comments or questions on basic income, feel free to leave a message below or contact us via Twitter. Our address is at BI News. If you have news related to basic income, please let us know and we will see if we can use it. There is a link on our website to suggest items. Thanks for listening and hope to see you next time again.